Let's be honest, DayZ, well, it should be dead by now. I mean, the original iteration of the game did launch way back in 2012 as a modded version of another popular game of its time, Arma 2. The mod was so well received that it was greenlit to be turned into its very own standalone game, which launched its alpha version in December of 2013. But shortly after, publisher Bohemia Interactive realized they had a problem, and it was a big one. Interest in the game quickly dwindled, and it looked like just when DayZ got the recognition it deserved, it would go by the wayside. Then, something incredible happened. But we'll talk about that later. Today, we dive into the captivating journey of DayZ, which recently hit its highest concurrent player count ever of 69,000, but not so long ago was teetering on the brink of obscurity. DayZ should be dead by now. But instead, it has catapulted right back to the top of survival games genre in a story of redemption that deserves a much closer look. Let's dive in. Our journey into the story of Daisy begins with a stark realization. The promises that once painted a bright future for Daisy were left unfulfilled. Shortly after the launch of its standalone version, players found themselves in a dilemma, torn between their loyalty to the game they had come to love and the disappointment that clouded their overall experience. And this was the main issue in the life of DayZ, huge promises that were never really made true on. From 2014 to 2018, while DayZ struggled with a dwindling player base, games like Scum, Miscreated, and H1Z1 Just Survive emerged and saw a massive surge in popularity further highlighting Daisy's predicament. The gameplay, once imagined to be rich and immersive, was critiqued for its emptiness, a world devoid of the assured zombies and loot, reducing the survival adventure to a mere aimless wandering. The early days of DayZ were far from smooth. Following its initial December 2013 release, the game experienced a number of highs and lows, with the alpha version players having to endure a particularly rough ride. The DayZ mod for Arma 2 had set a high bar, and when the standalone version emerged, it was met with massive enthusiasm. However, this initial success was short-lived. By 2018, with the game still in alpha, the player count had plummeted to a mere 1,600 players per day, a stark contrast to its initial alpha release of close to 45,000 players per day. This period was marked by a notable lack of essential features such as helicopters, endless delayed updates like 1.0, and a multitude of broken promises. These updates, when they did arrive, were often minor and did little to change the overall playability of the game, further aggravating the community and leading DayZ to reach meme status within gaming circles. The writing was on the wall. A game that had been so highly coveted was being lapped by its competition in a big way. However, Late 2018 marked a turning point. The introduction of a new game engine saw DayZ's playstyle be revamped and breathed new life into a game that seemed moments away from disappearance. This culminated in the release of the 1.0 update in December 2018, signaling DayZ's official exit from the alpha phase, a milestone that marked the beginning of a new era for Bohemia Interactive's star title. The console launch to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that followed opened DayZ to a new group of players, which in turn significantly boosted its sales and popularity. By 2019, DayZ had sold nearly 6 million copies, many of which came from the console community. The 1.0 update did more than just overhaul the game, though. It also introduced community-supported modding, a feature that would prove to be a catalyst in DayZ's resurgence. Players now had the ability to create and integrate their own unique mods, a move that significantly enhanced the gameplay experience. Additionally, features like base building, police situations, toxic zones, military train crashes, convoys, many new guns, and new locations, plus a reworked airfield were added, further expanding the scope of the game. The introduction of the first DLC, Livonia, in the fall of 2019 was another step in the right direction, selling over 400,000 copies in the same year. Daisy was on the rise again, slowly but surely recovering from its earlier challenges. The role that content creators played in Daisy's resurgence cannot be overstated. Following the 1.0 update and console launch, more and more creators began to focus on Daisy, 
increasing the game's visibility and popularity. The impact was extremely significant, as even huge streamers like Summit and Shroud returned to DayZ, propelling it back to the top 5 most watched games on Twitch. Today, DayZ stands in a place few anticipated. With larger updates and deeper community engagement than ever before, the future looks bright. As with any title, DayZ isn't without its flaws, but it's a far cry from what it used to be. The community's contribution, especially from modders, has been instrumental in shaping DayZ into the game everyone hoped for. And the results speak for themselves. In November 2023, 10 years after the initial release, DayZ broke its record for highest concurrent players with an eye-popping 69,000 players. As we speak, DayZ remains in the top 25 most watched games watched on Twitch and continues to grow in popularity. As the game's life continues, we can only hope that Bohemia Interactive pays close attention to the feedback and desires of the community and make true on promises to deliver more captivating, high-quality updates in the future. DayZ's journey is one that certainly hasn't been the smoothest, but the game is in a really good place right now, and its future looks increasingly bright. With new solid content being pumped out and a publisher that looks to have finally figured out how to please their fanbase, it seems that DayZ isn't only a feel-good redemption story, it is a game that won't be dying anytime soon. DayZ should be dead by now, but instead it has found a way to force itself back into the meta of top games in 2023.